that maybe one percent, a half a percent, will react and, and look at it, you know, and, and in that sense judge for themselves, you know, and, and they do not have to be told that, you know, as to what it is or, or might be. Uh, a very, very typical thing was the, the kids. Uh, the kids react to, to, like when I come driving by in the car, the kids have one universal thing which they always say. And, um, and when I tell the people, then they, they guess, well, they would have guessed that's what the kids, but if I were to ask you, what do you think the kids say, you know? In any event, the kids always say the same thing. They say, as I come driving by in the car, they say, hey, look at that car. They all say it. Hey, look at that car. Which, you know, you'd think there would be a different combination of words that they would come, but they all say that. Well, the adults do not look at it, apparently. You know, I'll come up to a bus stand, and maybe 20 people will be there. They will not overtly look at the car. They will, they will look through the car. They will look at the sky. They will look down at the ground. They will not look at the car. A very typical, classical thing occurred a few weeks ago when I pulled up at a signal and there was a car next to me waiting for the red light to change. And uh, there was a child in the car. And the child glommed at, you know, at, at my car and the painting on it and all that. And he said, hey, Pop, look at the car. And the father, and I was, you know, watching out of the corner of my eye and listening, the father turned in my general direction and said, what car? And, um, and I went out of business. And so the memorial was to the act. Ready? That's it. And three months, 17 hours a day. We are doing now a reenactment of, of the act as it had been for various reasons. I built myself as the world's greatest party entertainer. And everybody laughs, you know, and in a sense it's probably who, but public will to me it's valid because I do aware. feel that I am the world's greatest party entertainer. A very you know? skinny and in my mind there is very little doubt. Green acting of the act. I've not brought in any of the trunks. The, I've not brought in the crying reindeer trunk, the oratory trunk. Uh, uh, therefore, if you keep in mind the uh, the painting okay, and, and having to use the imagination. As I was, say I, I get a job in a, in a big, in a nice home, a doctor's home, and the, the guests were all neat and beautiful and well grown. I would uh, uh, first come on, stuff, see, perhaps uh, be, with the act, yeah. I would begin um, perhaps to dress the drum. I would dress the drum in such a way, such as that perhaps, to begin with. And they would get either hostile or frightened or disturbed. You know, when they saw me, uh, uh, practically always use the crocheted frog. That's drunk. Not usually on the chain. Of course, I would get, my basic fee was $35. Which one would think, for the cartridge alone, just to see a poor dumb. You know, I would not brought all this stuff in. You know, just statistically, you think it would be worth $35 to watch a poor dumb, I'm thinking of a certain word now, you know, which Lenny Bruce would always get arrested for, you know, but a poor and dumb guy, do that. Okay, well, anyway, so, um, now once the act started, you know, that it was an amazing thing, and this was always the rule, they would change, and it's an act, it's okay, you know. We're running a little over time in the reenactment, I must trust. Then the act would start, and it was, I would accept during one phase of it where I wanted to, in a sense, make it the world's worst act. And I it was would always, a, uh, just a self-destructive thing, the and act it began, was terrible. I would and I cringed because some friends had stopped by just taking the act, and they saw in this, and they had never seen me perform, and they saw this terrible thing. Once I went, took a sleeping bag, went to sleep once. Taking on the things. I would play a, a, a quick little, just a touch of a fiddle thing. Just a touch, it would tend to calm them. It would tend to, um, to um, soothe them a bit. Just a few snatches, they would begin looking around. Had they heard something? But this was just when I, I would wanted it to be a destructive thing. And of course, no one, you know, and my friends would see it, and I, I try to explain to them, you know, well, gee, you came in a bad phase. And of course, as with the orange neck, you know, to them, the act was, a, went up and went to sleep in a sleeping bag. That was it. I would, but, uh, but this usually, it would bring the audience down. They would be convulsed. They yet. would pound the floor. And I they would perhaps would play the finish horn. They would listen. <laughs> 
bit. I would go on and then for two or three hours. I and would again, you know, uh, uh, always start with going down to Boston. And just I would perhaps wear my cowboy coat. Well, um, and uh, at when the time came to applaud, there was not too much applause. And uh, I mean, except um, I, I could control it. I mean, I, I, I really could. I, I knew I could make a very, very successful thing, a commercially successful. But somehow I, I did whatever pleased me. You know, I want to be the only person in the world that could do whatever pleased him. You know. Sometimes I would sing, and, I, and I'm quite uh, sure that they were a little, a little embarrassed into the melody to, of to going applaud. Out of Boston, in other words, I would sing what was it they were applauding for? In other words, now, was it an act? Well, this, this is how it would sound. You know, and this was the reaction of the managers whenever I, I usually try to have this? a high point in the, in, the, in the tryout, you know, and I, I would give them everything, you know, and they would applaud. They would cry and screech and pound the floor. Could I get and a, the, uh, the, uh, this I, is I would the, the, the management would take me to their office and they'd say, Cheyenne, that was a fantastic act. That was great. And I think validly because their eyes would usually be tearing. You know, Three minutes to go? The, you know, a reaction. Three minutes to go? Uh, and they say, but we can't hire you because once you lose your stage brightness, once you lose this thing, you will have no act. I would wear. So we can't hire you because once you have three or four nights' experience, you know, what do you have? You don't seem to play well. You, you never finish a song. I would go dragging it down the aisle, and the cowbell would clang. Anyway, this is going would be going down to Boston. I might be wearing the hat, or I might not. I, I might just be like this. Verses perhaps with the symbols. We cannot get an idea of it, how it sounds without the symbols. Then I'll do the finale now, and with every time I have left, I'll just go through some of the objects which I used. I'll do the um, the uh, finale in the standing position. Uh, Martha Schlame sang two of these songs in public. I sing all three. It's a trilogy of British Isle songs. I have not sung them for six months. This is the first time. One, two, three, all airy, I saw Wallace Berry sitting on his bombalary, kissing Shirley Temple. Oh, you cannot shove your granny off a bus. Oh, you cannot shove your granny off a bus. So I got very few jobs, and I could not bring myself oh, to you explain to them. Shove your granny you know, too gross to understand, you know. Oh, yeah, I would condescend to explain to, to, to a manager, you know, what it was. And this is the song. So, um, so no one believed that that was the act, and therefore it failed. Um, and um, the, the only thing that, that worries me, in a sense it provides a stimulus, is the financial instability. But, um, and since this period, uh, about a year ago, I have been able not to expend energy in, in other areas. Been able to, um, one way or another, stick exclusively with the act in, in all its manifestations. It's all part of the act. Um, I'd always get a hand at this point. It always won the audiences for me. How much time do I have, quickly? It's, it's like the old act used to be. Uh, uh, so I worked three months on this thing, uh, um, on the memorial to one-man band, you know, uh, and I covered it with 500 nudes. This is a robot thing that would crawl through well, the wall. Well, they apparently didn't see them or didn't object to them. It, it actually did. Uh, a fox. 
and the other reason was because I had, that was one of the other times I'd gone out of business. I'd broken my foot. As I said, I did not bring my oratory trunk. This is just a segment out of the oratory trunk. Uh, here would be perhaps a typical book, uh, Fighting the Traffic in Young Girls, an expose of the uh, so-called the war on, on, the, on the white slave uh, trade. Beautiful book, very popular. Uh, this gives you perhaps a very meager uh, uh, taste of what the act uh, uh, really was. Uh, as I say, sometimes uh, it went on for uh, six minutes, sometimes six hours, and in a sense, for years and, and years. Kids, the the, uh, the 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 young people, the adults, lead lead such sheltered lives. They they don't see life. They're they're not they're not frightened. I have walked through purposefully only once. I could not do it twice, but I did it once. A very dark alley, a very dark alley at about two in the morning, and I was very frightened. Now, how many people do you know have walked through a dark alley at two a.m. alone, alone in a very rundown area? But it was life, it was living, you know. I felt the fear cringing up the, the hairs on the back of my neck. So I would uh, introduce, you know, some real feelings into the group. Uh, if they decided they didn't want to know the real fear, I would show them real depression. Take them into some of these wino bars. If they wanted great joy, I would show them great joy. A million ways when you took my happy days and left me. go into in the future, what career, what, what line of work, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, all I know is that I will continue to do the very best that I know how and what I think is right. Uh, and uh, so that is uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, purpose in telling you uh, this little story, and I hope you understand it.